Well, this is always my favorite week of the year because every single day seems to be named something. We have Thanksgiving, <laughs> then we have right. Black Friday, we have Cyber Monday, and now we have something called Giving Tuesday. Absolutely. It's a day for all of us to give something back and here to talk about that right now is consumer reporter Susan Hogan. Susan, there's some people out there that try to rip us off when we give stuff. I know, it's not a horrible thing, especially yeah. on Giving Tuesday too, but people will definitely try to do that and take advantage of our goodwill. So this is the time that when you are doing this and you want to give a donation, you can use your heart, but also use your head. So how do we get started by using our heart and our head? All right, well, good place to start is to pick a charity that you like, that means something to you. That's important. And then go directly to that charity's website to make your donation. Now, if there are three websites out there that if you want to check the legitimacy of a particular charity, you can go to. One is CharityNavigator.org, one is Give.org, and the other one is GuideStar.org. These are three places that you can go to look at the charity, decide whether you like what they are about, how much of your money goes to those folks as well, and it's a really good place to start. Now, almost every charity has some sort of overhead, so sure. I, how do you find out exactly how much of your money is actually going towards the charitable cause and how much is going towards that overhead? Great question, because of course that is important to a lot of people to make sure that their donation is actually going to be spent wisely. So for example, you can go to uh, CharityNavigator.org, plug in the charity that you like. They break down really black and white what they give, how much they spend on administrative cost, how much they give as far as your donation is concerned. 70%, 80% of your donation is going towards XYZ charity. If that's sufficient enough, then you can give. It will break it down as far as also how much they charge for, how much they it, their fundraising costs are. So it really is you want to make sure that you're dealing with a charity that is very transparent. And those three websites that we mentioned will give you that breakdown. And as we mentioned also, I mean, there are people out there that are trying to rip us off. So sure. what, what should we actually be aware of? Well, there's a lot of things too. If you get an unsolicited email from, from a charity, so to speak, that says, you know, give to us, and it looks like the real deal, I bet if you were, were really to click on that URL, it will not be that charity. So be careful of lookalike charities. And because what happens a lot of times is they'll say link here, you'll click on that link, chances are it's going into a fake website and therefore you're giving out your financial information. So you've got to be super, super careful. Never pay in cash. Always pay by credit card if you're donating online and make sure you get a receipt too. Some great advice on Giving Tuesday. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much, Susan.